Today we're talking about the FTO gene, specifically SNPs in the genetic code that can potentially predispose us to being in the overweight category. Welcome to the Dami Vlog. My name is Dr. David Dizer. I'm a naturopathic doctor and the medical director at DamiHealth.com. On this show, we cover all things holistic health and wellness related. If you're interested in holistic well-being, please subscribe for more videos like this one. So, on the show recently, we've been talking about genetic health and what it means to have SNPs at specific on specific genes, um, and actually what a SNP is. Well, there. Now we're going to dive into what different genes do and how when they're expressed differently, they can affect our lifestyle in general. One gene is called FTO. We're covering FTO today because it's very important in holistic weight loss. If you have a SNP at the FTO gene, uh, there are three locations that have been studied on the FTO gene, but most uh, calculators that uh, assess your genetic data will spit them out and tell you where you stand, regardless of which uh, area you have a SNP uh, at. So if you have a SNP on the FTO gene, there is an increased risk of obesity. Now, this has been studied in large trials. Uh, they have taken people, they have taken huge groups of people who are in the obese category and taken uh, huge groups of controls, tested the genetic code and found SNPs in the overweight in the overweight and obese category consistently at the FTO gene location and um, have had so we have a significant data to correlate this gene with obesity the question still remains why is this happening why are people who have SNPs uh, FTO SNPs more overweight uh, so the current thought is that because of the location of this gene's activity that it's probably due to overeating. It's probably due to decreased satiety after meals as well. So uh, we, we, we assume that what we should be doing when there are SNPs in the FTO location, uh, on the FTO gene, we should be focusing on calorie reduction. In fact, we know now that people who have this uh, genetic SNP do really, really well with aggressive caloric reduction and with increases in exercise. This is one of those categories where if we look holistically and say we do a report of uh, an assessment of the genetic expression for an individual and the, the FTO gene has come up, gosh, we should be aggressively reducing calories and boosting or increasing exercise output. People with this SNP do really, really well with uh, lifestyle modifications in general. So. Um, the way to figure out if you're in this category. Basically, if you do a genetic test like say 23andMe or Ancestry.com and you work with an integrative practitioner like myself uh, who deals with genetic health, you can find out if you have SNPs on the FTO gene. And if you do, there are th certain therapies that can be put in place to help you lose weight quicker. One is uh, the reduction of calories. And the other is the increase, of course, in exercise output. But because we think that gaining weight with this SNP is associated with the overconsumption of food and decreased satiety after meals, we should be implementing mechanisms around meal time to try to re reduce input, to try to go above and beyond uh, the expression of this gene, to try to modify the diet so that we have a better chance of reaching satiety with food. Uh, with the meal choices we are, uh, the, with, with the meal selections we're choosing. So that's how an integrative practitioner can help you uh, in knowing your genetic expressions. So covering the FTO gene today, what we think is happening when there's a SNP there, and really how to find out if you're in this category of person. So the final thing I'll leave, leave with tonight, we have these, these, the, this data for big groups of people who are in the overweight and obese category having SNPs at this, on this gene um, and comparing them with controls. But what's interesting about this data is then researchers have looked at what about their siblings and specifically sisters. When they took out, in this one study, when they took out uh, siblings, specifically sisters, and they looked at uh, if one sister had a BMI over 40 and another sister had a BMI under 25, very, very commonly, the one who did not have the, the one who had the BMI under 25 
did not have a SNP on FTO. So, so interesting. So we have these uh, family members who assume they're living the same lifestyle, who have grown, grown up in the exact same household, one who has uh, reached a state of uh, overweight and obese BMI uh, status, and one who has maintained a healthy weight seemingly without effort for many, many years. And then we look at the genetic code and oh shoot, the one in the obese category has a SNP on FTO. Okay, now we have some answers. At a baseline, we know that there is decreased satiety with meals with FTO. That's really the extent of it. We know there are some DNA methylation issues uh, with FTO SNPs. We don't really know how that relates to obesity um, yet. If you're familiar with this and you do know, please let me know in the comments. But um, at, a, at a baseline, we're doing therapies and lifestyle modifications with FTO SNPs to try to reduce caloric intake, especially um, around meals. And uh, we're trying to boost satiety with food uh, to make sure that caloric intake is down. That's my spiel on the FTO SNPs. If you're interested in genetic health, leave your questions in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. Have you had your genetic code assessed? Have you had, first of all, have you had 23andMe or Ancestry.com done? If you feel comfortable sharing your story of the FTO gene, what you've experienced, what category you're in, please let us know in the comments below. I'd be so thrilled to find out what you have learned from your genetic assessment and what you've done to try to mitigate this SNP, to try to get your body weight down into a normal range and what has worked and what hasn't worked for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in genetic health and well-being, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing lots more information, lots more videos about SNPs um, on this channel. Hope you had a great, uh, hope you got something from this video. And if you do have the FTO SNP, one of the three, there may be more, one of the three that I'm familiar with, uh, consult with your integrative naturopathic doc or medical doc to try to figure out ways to reduce the uh, negative effects in terms of metabolic effects uh, when you do have this SNP. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.